Hey girls, it's Saturday. Best wishes from 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 I'm back. Hey girls, it is Saturday and today is awesome because this morning I handed in this huge paper that I had to write in three days because the deadline suddenly moved and I was in London. Now all I have to do is hand in one small assignment, two literature essays, I have five hours of classes left and two finals and then I'm done. So Tuesday I got home from London where I bought a lot of awesome stuff including, you know, some um, nerd glasses. I don't know. This is weird. Uh, as you may have figured out, I met Sophie and Emmy in London, and I tried to make them say something Dutch. Something Dutch. <laughs> A best of Benson? Good. I don't know what you said. Best, best of Benson. Best, best of Benson. So I have a little confession to make. I bought a lot of DVDs in London. Sense and Sensibility, the new version. Tess of the Durbervilles, which I adore, even though it's really sad. And Lost in Awesome, which is a story about a modern girl who switches places with Elizabeth Bennet. And that makes sure that everything goes the way it's supposed to be in the book. And all these DVDs have inspired me to start reading Jane Austen again because I promised to read all her novels this year and this is the only one I've read so far and I'm not even done. I will read them all this year, I promise. And Sophie recommended me The Selected Tales of Edgar Allan Poe. I read the first one, which was only four pages, and I'm really confused. I finally finished reading the Time Traveler's book, and I cried, and it's one of the best books I've ever read. And I know that when I give a book review, I always just say, Oh, it's amazing, it's awesome, it's interesting, it's great. Um, so I thought I'd actually tell you something about the book this time. The book The Time Traveler's Wife is about Claire and Henry, and as you might know about time traveling, it gets kind of confusing. So I made a drawing. Okay, here we go. So this is Claire's life. Just a straight line, because she's normal. Then you have Henry, and um, his is obviously not a straight line. Henry is a time traveller, but he cannot make any decisions about where he goes or when it happens. So he'll just all of a sudden disappear, like for example when he gets anxious, and he'll turn up completely naked in a different period of time. So Claire meets this naked, older, time-travelling man when she's really young. As you can see here. So she gets to know Henry when she's young and he even gives her a list so she knows when he will be there. Which he got because he went back into the future and got a list and... Uh, confusing. Meanwhile, normal Henry is just living his life and is quite a bit younger than the old Henry and doesn't have any idea what's going on. Though, as you can see, older Henry sometimes visits young Henry to teach him useful things like picking pockets. Because it can be quite useful to know how to steal stuff when you always end up somewhere in the middle of nowhere naked. So when Claire is 18, the period of visits from Henry stop and she has to wait until she meets him in real life. The only problem is that this younger version of Henry has never met Claire before, though Claire already knows him. So. So Henry slowly has to get to know Claire, and while he's doing that, he's traveling back in time and meeting the younger version of Claire, and everything comes full circle. Of course, there's a lot more stuff that goes into this story, but I really recommend this book to you. Go read it. <laughs> Look at this made of awesome necklace I got in Camden Lock in London. Oh, and Nido, you still need to teach me how to solve this stupid thing. Best wishes! <laughs> Nidabai! <laughs> 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 <laughs>